people, Steve here, Gear Unboxed again. We've got an exciting new helmet to show you, the HJC i71. New helmet this year, without much more ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so here we have it. Let's just quickly take it out the bag for yours. If I can get it out. It's all well done up. It's that one there. That allows us to do this bit. And there we have it. This one is in the striking colours. Very nice if you've got a CBR 600 in these colours. CBR 600, my favourite bike. I've had a few. CBR 600s, CB750s, VFR 800s. They all tend to be black, but uh, nice colour pattern on this. Right, as you can see, it's the HJC i71. Quickly go through it. You have the visor here, standard visor, pin lock ready, adjustable pin lock, pin locks in, adjustable pin lock with pins on either side. It's easy to take the visor out to clean it. It has got fully up, one position only then drop down. It's quite a solid drop down. I feel that's quite a good seal on that one. Uh, it comes up with a little tab here which you can just push up to release it. You've also got the sun visor here which you can see is in drop down position. Uh, you can actually adjust it up and down. It's a little switch on this side. Fully up, fully down. You take this little cover off here. You can adjust it further. It just moves forward slightly. So if you like me and you've got a big nose, you might <laughs> prefer it just to come forward a little bit. I think that's a vague interest, not particularly to myself. So we'll pull that visor back up and we'll have a quick look inside. A standard D-ring fitting on here, which is what you expect in the UK. The Nolan N80-8 was the earliest video that I did on helmets. That comes with a ratchet strap mechanism. Quick release ratchet strap, which you tend to get outside the EU or Europe, mainland Europe, should we say, in the UK, which do to test it with a D-ring. Personal preference, I don't mind either. You've got a chin guard, a wind chin guard, similar to the N80-8. You've got fully removable lining. You've got the standard EPS lining inside, you've got simple open and close venting, venting here, an exhaust, the exhaust is actually quite high up, uh, I prefer it down a little bit lower but in test this has shown to be quite adequate with cooling, nothing dramatic about it. This is actually a small size and it's actually quite a chunky looking item, certainly in the sort of medium large sizes, it's actually a little bit on the heavy side to be honest. Wouldn't worry me as I've got a neck like a tree trunk, but it comes in at about 1745 grams and the N88 is around about 16... 100, 1625, obviously depending on the size of the helmet itself. So it does tend to be a little bit on the heavier side. Long journeys, you may have to go for a, a lighter shell. Personally, it wouldn't matter to me. It fits comfortably. It's a typically round oval shape, which would suit my head once again. Three different shell sizes, so he's got a good spread. Obviously, you change the internal lining. As I always say with helmets, it's the most important purchase that you're ever going to make regard to motorbike gear, you've only got one of these, at least I hope I've only got one. Something which, as I've always said, you need to get fitted properly, don't buy it online. You need to go to somewhere like I always go to, this place here. I've got a fantastic range of gear, really knowledgeable people. You need to go to a place like that. The biker company know what they're doing. And so it's really important that you have it fitted properly. HJC i71. It's NCOMS ready, you've got purpose-built spaces, helmet-to-helmet -helmet comm system, which is something that they've done through Senna. You would have trouble fitting your own one onto this, and in the standard fittings you'd have to uh, stick it on the outside. This Senna gear, the HGSE i71, is a bit on the pricey side, so that might put you off. It can be uh, more than the price of the helmet. 
So, you know, if you're going to get a lot of use out of it, then fine. But just think about that one. Go into the comm side very carefully with your distributor. That's the HJC i71. Nothing much more to say about that. It's a good helmet. I say it's slightly on the heavy side. It's very similar, similar sort of spec and feel to the the one it replaced, which is HJC i70, I believe. So that's that one. Now, if we make comparisons to the no Man N88, which is my helmet, which is the one I reviewed. And I'll put a link in the description for this so you can see it quite clearly. This one has got a simple lift tab, and you can see that the visor has got lots of positions, including a just slightly cracked open, which for normal speed driving or low speed driving, that's what I always use. Probably not quite as important if you're in a hot climate, but in the typical UK weather, you need ventilation. Also, the sun visor, which comes down, very good sun visor. And the big difference with this one is that the Nolan N80-8, they both have anti-fog sun visors, because the last thing you want is an anti-fog you know, sun visor, early in the morning, low sun, and it's still cool, and your sun visor's fogging up. So once again, I'd say you know, that's a good alternative. Ventilation, this one was good. Price-wise, they're very similar. Both of these have got gold ACU stickers. They're both uh, the EU 2206 compliant standard. Uh, do I prefer the N88? Yeah, I do. I do. It's lighter, it's significantly lighter for the same size helmet, and I think that sort of uh, that with the sun visor tips it in the favour to me. The prices are very similar, although you can, you know, have a good look around to get a feel for what sort of price range you should be paying for the solids and the and the patterns. Obviously, the patterns are more expensive. I think you're probably the i71 is probably a little bit newer. You may be asked to pay a little bit more for that one. Personally, I wouldn't. For the same money, if it fits your head, and they both fit similar, I believe, I go for the N80-8. But go along to your distributor, someone like the Bikely Company once again, speak to them and have a good look at, at both the helmets. HJC are a very big helmet manufacturer, They're probably one of the largest in the world. No land make an awful lot of helmets. They both know what they're doing. You won't go far wrong with either of them, but pound for pound, fit for fit, comfort, I go for the N80-8. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Make up your own opinions. So that's it from me. Pretty please. If you like this video, if you found it useful, we've got more coming out. Give a little uh, like button, a little tickle for me. And uh, it helps me to get the videos out there. It helps me to encourage me to make some more videos for you. The next video coming out very shortly will be the Revit Eclipse 2 jacket. The weather's so hot to wear even a medium weight, medium weight, heavy, heavier mesh jacket. I couldn't wear a leather jacket in this weather, to be honest. Although perhaps I should, but I'm not going to. The Revit Eclipse 2 jacket, I'll be reviewing that very shortly and that'll be coming out soon. So uh, thank you for looking. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you again soon. Bye.